Welcome back to Abandoned Explorer at the Abandoned Sitco in Joliet, Illinois. Uh, that last KMR video I put out was terrible, just terrible. I don't know why it uploaded in the way that it did. Uh, I, I do apologize for that, for the quality of it. But yeah, this is we're right by an airport and a busy highway. This place shut down about maybe a year or two ago, possibly three years ago. Uh, obviously people been doing burnouts are here but uh, everything's shut down pumps are up the handles are still intact uh like i said you know like most abandoned places starting to fall apart and become overgrown but that's just how it goes you know you got the pumps here for the trucks and all that and yeah Real shame though, man. I, I, I don't know what happened to this place shut down. I genuinely couldn't tell you. Uh, there's, there's a highway right up the road and then you got, you know, it's a busy road. So why it shut down, I, I don't know. Couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. But, you know, as you can see, everything's pretty much overgrown here. It's been, it's been sitting here for quite some time. Uh, I would have to do the research myself, probably Google it and stuff like that and try to figure out just how long it's been sitting here. Uh, but I think someone else who was here recently said maybe two years, possibly more. But uh, one of the reasons that I heard, nah, don't, don't quote me on this because I don't know the truth. I don't know if this is fact or fiction. From what I understood, it, the place was getting robbed a lot or something. I have no idea. Again, that was that's probably something that I have to research deeply into. But honestly, everything is pretty much you can tell it's been sitting here a while. Tell that light is pretty. Yeah, um, dude, that's pretty self-explanatory. But you got all these these bushes and stuff that are starting to become overgrown. Obviously, whoever owned this gas station obviously doesn't t is or own. I don't know. I'm guessing they don't have access or probably don't own the land anymore. So it's nobody's taking care of it. Or nobody's coming out here to you know do what they got to do and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, pretty much like always. I don't condone try to get into places that's not my thing i will get window shots that's about it but this is interesting though let me zoom in here but you still got all this stuff inside you know all this merch you got pens oil right there and if you look at these shelves still pretty got some merchandise which is very very strange man i I've been to a lot of abandoned places, a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen one that was like, they still had the merch. Well, there you have it. But I don't know, I feel like this sign is very, I want to say misleading, but it's strange. It is very weird. To see that there's still stuff inside. I thought I saw like a rat or a mouse. I'm, I'm seeing things, everybody. But, oh, I can't. But as you can clearly see, this is, uh, they still got a lot of stuff, which is, it's almost like they just up and left. Because if you can see that, obviously. You know, they still got plenty of stuff in there, which again, I've, I've, I've filmed a lot of places and I've never seen that. So that's, that's a new one on me. You know, there's no saying that if you don't learn something every day that you ain't living or something, I don't know. I might've just made that up. But you know what they say. Uh, even the cooler is open, if you guys try to get I'm gonna zoom in here and show you guys. 
You still got energy drinks and sodas. But again, the sign says most everything's been empty. So I'm guessing a lot, just mostly perishable things were probably thrown out. I had to guess. Uh, yeah, it's overgrown, man. This, I don't want to, I'm not going to try to get in there because if I had jeans on, I would, I would definitely go through the bushes and all that. This is I'm wearing shorts. I'm obviously not going to do none of that. Some peanuts or something. Yeah, this place is, like I said, this is pretty close to a to a highway like right up the road about a mile you got interstate 55 which runs in, uh what is that west no north and south don't quote me on directions because i confusing myself to be honest with you but another thing this gas station was also for truckers and I've gone to a lot of, I've gone to a lot of truck stops and whatnot, and they've always had more than three pumps. Why there's only three pumps? I, hey man, I didn't build this place, so I, can, I cannot tell nobody why they designed it like that. Uh, that's just, I guess, economics or whatever. I don't know. Call me on that. I don't know economics. Obviously, you guys have seen it a few times. You got, you know, state police probably sits here, make sure nobody tries to get into property and all that non LA jazz. Obviously, we're not doing none of that. We're just filming, documenting. You know, we don't bring it in places. We don't condone that kind of stuff on this channel. We just film, document, record. You know, because you never know when these places like these are going to get torn down or, you know, maybe someone buys out the land and makes something new here. Something of that nature. Yeah, it looks like people just dumped their their garbage here. That's kind of a shame. You know, you hate to see it. You really, really hate to see it, man, you know. I mean, if anybody remembers the diamonds I filmed, it was, it was the same concept there. People were just dumping garbage wherever they saw fit. But like I said, it, it I think this place has to have been abandoned for maybe two years already because a lot of these trees are overgrown. There's also like a forest here, so, you know, it would be cool if we caught a deer or like, I don't know, a fox or something. That'd be pretty neat. Why it would be neat? I don't know. But yeah, it's just, like I said, this place is, had had closed down the last two years due to from quote unquote was robberies, but again, that the whole, it was getting robbed shit. I don't know if that's reliable information or not. It might be, I don't know. But I don't know, man. It, it begs the question if something's gonna get built here or someone's gonna buy out this building and Maybe another gas station will open up in the near future. Something like that. I don't, I couldn't tell you. Someone dumped the TV here. Instead of just taking it to like a dump or something, or even Best Buy recycles TVs. That's really shameful, man. But yeah, obviously, you know, my guess is truckers would come around through here, pull up in these palms, which. I was where the trooper sitting, that's where uh, they would probably park up and wait. So when one truck is done, the next would go in and so on and so forth. Uh, but like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know why they only put three pumps though. Most truck stops would have like at least four to six, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe we got someone else here filming too. But, uh, Oh, did you see this? this is interesting. You got a plane taking off over here. We're gonna go ahead and wait till this uh, pop through and pull the doors just so you guys 
to see everyone. I want to film this guy because you know, people will get upset about that kind of thing. I'm going to wait till he leaves. We'll just film over here for a second. There's people who get upset about, you know, little things about being filmed. Uh, I'm sure you guys were able to see that, that the state police were right here sitting. They didn't, they didn't have an issue with me recording. I'm sure the building's locked up and whatnot. I wanted to get this helicopter real quick. So I can... Hey, that's a meta chopper? I don't know. We're gonna come over here and check out the truck pumps. Nothing's in the service. Uh, most gas stations board up the pumps, though. That's that's what I find the most interesting about this is a lot of them they board up their pumps and stuff because people will try to break into them and steal the aluminum for money. I want to get a, some more shots of inside, though. I got too many good shots. Yeah, I mean the building, like I said, the building is probably secure. I guarantee. You know, see, locked door, can't get in. That was some weird. I say it's locked, nobody's gonna get in. The cops rolls around here, so you know, they make sure. But, uh, yeah, one more time, I'm gonna film this. Obviously, this closed prior to COVID, too. Uh, I don't know, I feel more, I haven't gone to too many places that were affected, but I plan on it, but, you know, yeah, that's, I think that's all there is about the film, it's pretty much showed everything, and I think, Do one more walkthrough of the pumps. Try to get as much footage. Uh, been hoping for that helicopter to take off. I think that would make interesting footage. I'm sure there's people who are, you know, fans of that kind of stuff. They quite enjoy that. But uh yeah. That's probably going to do it here. Well, we're in this one. So, like, subscribe, comment. You already know. If you want to see me explore somewhere else, or you know another place, leave it in the comments. We'll go check it out. But until next time, thank you for coming out. We'll see you next video.